Hey farmers, what's going on? And welcome back to another Haiti video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about our next machines, the jeweler and the smelter. Now, these two machines are related together, so that's why I'm going to make a single video about these two machines. So let's get started. Um, all right, my, my task is I didn't even complete my task because I don't play game usually. So and that's kind of sad. I think I just need to do one task. If I want to get the prizes, like, ooh, I'm getting a puzzle piece. I'm going to have to do one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this anyway. So there we go. And I'm just going to harvest my indigo. All right, there we go. Let's just harvest all of that. I just got a nail, which is cool. And my silo is full as usual. That's a lot of indigo, so I'm probably going to put them out because I don't need them. Alright, let's just sell that and let's just advertise my shop. Alright, this is kind of like very frustrating right now. My silo always gets full. I think I need to upgrade my silo, but I don't have enough expansion stuff. So let's have a look at my boat. Can I do this? Yeah, I'm just going to do that anyway. I don't care about the coins or XP. I'm going to collect the products that I've been making on my machines. So there we go. I've been making a lot of soy sauce, which is cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to do this, going to do that. I can do this, this, and I'm going to be asking for help on my boat. Um, so let's just plant something over here. Let's go. With, uh, let's see what do I need to plant. So I'm going to go with strawberries. Now, normally I don't plant strawberries on my main farm because I have a lot of baby farms for the strawberries. Um, but I'm just like, you know, if you want to make coins, strawberries is the best way because they're like the most expensive crops or fruits. I don't like, I think strawberries are fruits, right? Then why do we have them as like crops in the game? I don't know. Maybe that's a crop. All right. So my fields are done and I'm going to come back to the machine. So here you guys can see this is your smelter. Now smelter unlock at level 24. Um, basically in the game, you can get up to five smelters. So let me just tell you guys the prices of all the smelters. And here are my other smelters. So basically they all are same. So this kind of looks like a brick furnace. And you guys can see there's a little chimney at the bottom. And then on the left and right hand side, you guys can also see there are ores. So a very pretty design indeed. A round of applause for the designers of the Haiti. They always create such great things in the game. So the first smelter is always going to cost you about 12,500 coins. Second, 22,000. Third, 31,500. Fourth one will cost you, I think, 41,000. And the last smelter will cost you about 60, um, 50,000 gold coins. Now, when you're a low level player at level 24, you don't really have to get all of them at the same time. You can just get one or maybe two if you have enough coins, because at those levels, you already need to save your coins for other things. For example, you unlock your mine and there are loads of other things to do as well. So I think having one or maybe two is okay, but as soon as you start um, going up, they can purchasing, start purchasing them. So basically, um, my smelters are fully mastered and I have only got five or maybe four on each, the slots. Now, I have not opened all the slots. They also cost basically less diamonds than the normal machines. I have not opened the slots because I think they are not really that important. Like, I can already create a lot of them. Like, I have, I have five on each smelter and basically this machine also makes five products. So what I do or what I tend to do is I make one kind of bar on each smelter. So for example, on this smelter, I will only make the gold bar. On the other one, I will go with the silver, platinum, iron, and coal. And a lot of people just do this randomly, but I have my own, you know, plans or ideas. So let's just have a look at the mastery of this machine. All right, guys, having a look at the mastery, we can see that the mastery of this machine is very different from other machines in the game. 390 hours for the first star, 1,540 um, hours for the second star, and 6,180 hours for the final star, which is a lot. So, oh my gosh, this machine is actually very hard to master, but not that hard. So, you're going to need to run for like a very long time. But the thing is, the good thing about this is that all the products that this machine takes ages. They take about like hours, like 19 hours um, 12 hours, 16 hours, 
So it's not going to be that hard. You can just keep making the bars and your smelter will be fully mastered. But the good thing is that you have to get all of them if you want to fully master this machine faster. Talking about the products, this machine makes five kind of products. The first is a silver bar. It's going to get ready in eight hours or six hours and 48 minutes on a fully mastered machine you're going to need about three silver ores so i'm going to put one the next product is level 25 gold bar 12 hours or 10 hours and 12 minutes on a fully mastered machine you're going to need three gold ores i'm going to put one here as well and i can't believe i only have one so i'm just going to put all of these here and let's go to the next machine and the third product is also unlocking at level 25 the platinum bar which is the rarest so this is like the most rare bars of all it's gonna take ages it's gonna take 16 hours so this product takes a lot of time and 13 hours are 36 minutes on a fully masked machine the coal or the refined coal takes about six hours or five hours on six minutes on a fully masked machine you're gonna need three iron ores and the last iron ore, which unlocks at level 34, and the refined coal unlocks at level 33. You're going to need three iron ores for this, and it's going to get ready in 7 hours or 5 hours and 57 minutes. So, yeah, I'm just going to put all of them. So, here are my smelters, and I'm just going to make a lot of ours. Now, the question is where you can get the ores. Well, you can get the ores from your mine by using your mine tools. For me, honestly, mine tools are not a challenge anymore. I play the game regularly when I'm playing. I play the town. I do all the chores on my farm. So if you want to get a lot of mine tools, make sure you play the game regularly. Um, you know, you feed your pets, you wake them up, you collect your animals, you play town, you do harvesting, stuff like that. So you guys can see I have a lot of them. So all you have to do is just explode those tools into the mine, and then you can get a lot of ores. And if you're lucky, you can also get diamonds. So this is how you get the ores. And from these ores, you can make the bars. Now, the question is, what does the bars do in the game? Well, there are a lot of ways. The first thing, the bars are never asked in the boats. So, chill, uh, because the boats will never ask for the boats. So, you can save them. Um, the next way, actually, well, that's not here. But most of the times, the actual bars will help you to get a voucher by completing one truck otter. Which, um, I'm currently not seeing here. Alright guys, so here you can see that on this Chuck Otter, I'm needing 6 silver bars and it's going to give me a lot of XP and 1 voucher as well. So, make sure when you're a low level player, make sure you save these bars. Actually, you can sell them if you want to, that's not a problem, they can also give you a pretty good amount of coins. But you can also get a voucher by completing these kind of Chuck Otters when you are a low level player. But as soon as you unlock the town in the game, just let me go over here at my this farm in the town the personal train is gonna need a lot of bars to upgrade so person train has about um i think 19 levels in total no i think 10 levels i've totally forgot but yeah so th these are gonna need a lot of bars you're gonna need five then you're gonna need 10 20 25 and 30 so you're gonna need crazy amount of bars to upgrade your pro personal train in the town which is um also very important if you play the town because you can use this to go to other people's farms, uh, towns, and you can pick their towns just like this. So, well, uh, that was a mistake, but anyway. Now, let's have a look at the analytics of all these products. The coal bar is the most common. It's not that rare. People do sell this, but the price is actually very low. And considering the fact that this, this takes hours to be produced, I, I don't think this it's profitable. It's not profitable at all. But if you just want coins, that's okay. So let's just get started by the um, product. So the one silver bar goes for about 147 coins and 10 for, I think, 1,476. Not expensive at all. It's just very basic. So... I don't think that you should sell any bars. Make sure you save them for your truck orders and make sure you save them for your town personal train as well. So the next product is the gold bar, which I only have one, unfortunately. And let's see, one for 180 coins and 10 for 1,800 coins. Again, it's very basic, not that expensive. And then we have the actual platinum bars, which are the most rarest in the game. One for 205 coins and 10 for over 2,000 coins. It's a very rare metal bar, so you should not sell this as well. Um, because you're going to need all of these also in your jewelry. So 
And the next product that we have are your coal bars, which are very basic and very common, not expensive at all. And the final product is the um, iron bars, which are also very common. Let me sh let me just see how many do I have. Uh, I've only got four, so I'm just gonna go down and show you guys the price of the iron bars so if i come down over here and you guys can see one for 129 coins very less price it's not cheap at all you should not sell this to me coins there are a lot of other products that you should be selling so that was it the shelters and i'm sorry guys i have changed my plans i cannot make the video right now because i'm already having um issues with my phone right now so i'm probably gonna end the video here i will make the jeweler video anytime soon next time and so that was it for the smelter there are some basic things that you need to know about this machine that you can get up to five of them but you don't have to get them at the same level make sure when you become a high level player when you have enough coins then you can start purchasing them because they're very optional a second thing it takes a lot of hours to be fully mastered so the best way is to it just keep making bars because they already take ages so you don't have to worry about anything. I remember I fully mastered my smelter when I was on level 46 so that was real quick because I made all these bars 24-7. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.